I'd like to give a very big thank you to a handful of friends on YouTube and the EgoSoft forums for giving some truly outstanding feedback to my attempts at creating these video tutorials. Uh, thanks to their feedback and suggestions and the necessity that has arisen from being right in the middle of let's just say a plot that shall not be named uh, I have found a perfect opportunity to create an addendum to video tutorial number 11 about station placements um, and I will dare say that using the techniques that I'm going to cover in this video I can guarantee that you can create a perfect complex whether you have five or fifty stations in that complex now I'm sure that just got the attention of some of you as building complexes can be very frustrating if you don't have this mastered uh, but it is very easy and I'm gonna show you uh, so again thanks to all of you who have given some feedback um, please check the forums for that credit because there's several and um, let's get started alright there's a couple of requirements to be able to use the techniques that I'm going to cover here um, the first of which is to have an advanced satellite in sector which I do and the second is you have to have all of the stations that you are going to have in your complex up front because you have to place them uh, before placing any complex construction kits uh, which is uh, you know that can be frustrating if you don't have the money to build the whole complex up front but uh, you'll see why sooner there are some some workarounds um, I'm down here in Emperor's Wisdom and I am going to be building a second complex a Teladianium foundry complex um, number one to help me complete the plot that I'm working on and then number two with the hope that after the plot is complete um, I can sell Teladianium down here in Perinid space because if you check um, the soy farms you'll see that they're always out there just aren't any foundries down in this area so um, this should sell like crazy once I'm done Okay, I know that this complex is going to consist of 10 Teladianium foundries, and by mammoth can carry three at a time, so I'm going to have to make a few trips in between back up to Seaswell Shipyard to uh, purchase them three at a time. Um, but this is still a great opportunity to show you uh, the techniques involved. Now, I've already placed the first Teladianium foundry, and there's really nothing special to that. It was on the X, Z axis, which basically means you're looking top down in the sector map. So again, nothing special. Um, but here's where the fun starts. Let's go ahead and place the second one. All right, you're all familiar with the keys to um, handle station placement on the numpad, four, six, uh, two, and eight. Arrow keys will move the station around. Uh, 7, 9, 1, and 3 will handle rotation, and home and end key will zoom in, and the K key will turn on the 3D view, which I've done now. All right, the technique here is you just use the, uh, the number 5 on the numpad key to move the object to the nearest object, which in this case is my original Teladianium foundry. Now if I'll zoom in, you'll see that it literally snaps uh, to the exact position. So if I hit insert key, it is sitting perfectly uh, in the exact same position as the first one. So this is incredibly handy if you want to uh, let's say I want to put this station right next to the first one so that it will be perfectly the same height on the y-axis um, I can just hit 5, snap it to uh, to that grid point make sure I'm in the x-z axis which I am and then just slide it over I'm going to zoom in to make sure they're not colliding, which they aren't. And now if you hit insert, you'll see that they are perfectly the same height on the y-axis and right next to each other. So I'm going to place that one. Command accepted. It looks like I got uh, some friends here. Let me make sure my guys are taking care of them. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's get uh, number three placed. And uh, now you see why you have to place the stations before the complex, because if I connect these two with a complex construction kit, uh, when I 
snap to the closest object, it will snap to the complex uh, docking port instead of the station, so that doesn't help much. So let's zoom in, press 5 to snap to the closest object, turn on 3D view, and you will see that it's snapped to this particular station, which is fine. I'm going to go at least three across, and then I'll decide if I want to go up or down as a good example here. Let's make sure they're not colliding. They're not. And as you see, that's perfectly aligned. Command Hit enter. Accepted. And so far, I have three perfectly aligned stations. Uh, but the fun hasn't really started yet. I'm going to uh, tell my mammoth to go ahead and jump back up to Seaswell and pick up uh, the next set of three. Talking and command. I'll return when he's back. Command accepted. Okay, my mammoth is back with three more. Let's go ahead and put number four down. I'll hit five to snap to object, zoom in, turn on 3D view, and it has picked the, uh, I was closest to the third one. Okay, I have a choice here. I can either continue to extend this line, or I can start to, uh, let's see, let's snap it to uh, the first one, flip the uh, plane. I can start to stack it above, which if you hit insert again, you'll see it's perfectly aligned. And, um, or I guess I could also start developing the, uh, the complex in this direction. So you start to see how well the symmetry will work with this. I can build like a nine or a three by three tile, if you will, of stations on the bottom and then start stacking them above each other and create a nice big cube of stations. Or you can create a, uh, a big wall, uh, say three or four across by, I don't know, ten high, whatever you want to do. Um, but the potential here is very clear. Um, the symmetry is very easily achieved. I think I am going to just stack these above. Uh, we'll go four by four and then I'll start stacking them. So that looks pretty good. A little bit closer. Command accepted. It's not going to be perfectly symmetrical because I have 10, unless I went 5 by 5, I guess that would make sense too. Yeah, we'll do that. That way it will be perfect. Command accepted. And now we'll start the second rank. Command accepted. And you can see the beginnings of a like I said, perfectly symmetrical formation. Okay, I'm going to jump up, get the next three, and I'll be back. Okay, he's back with the next three. Same thing. Snap it to that one. See, that's perfectly aligned. That looks great. Command accepted.
Oops. There we go. Command accepted. Again, just snapping to object, rotating the plane to uh, check out the angle. It's directly above. And uh, yeah, you can't align to both, so you have to kind of eyeball the uh, top to bottom, or you can snap to this one and then slide it over and eyeball the left to right. Um, it really doesn't matter. That's so close to perfection that. not going to get a whole lot better than that. I just see this better this way. There we go. Command accepted. Okay, uh, I'm going to go pick up the last foundry and then all of the required complex construction kits and I'll be back. Okay, let's get this last station placed. Command accepted. All right, and there you have it, a perfectly uh, stacked set of 10 foundries. I'll do a quick flyby here in my Kestrel. shouldn't take long so you can get a quick peek. And that's, uh, that's pretty. Okay, um, you should have uh, salvage insurance you can save right here. I forgot to pick that up so I'm gonna pause, go jump into a station real quick, save my game and uh, when I come back we'll link all of these together and uh, perfectly place the uh, the complex construction kit and uh, the docking port I guess you wanna if you wanna call it that and we will have a um, a really really nice complex here. I'll be right back. All right, let's get our complex construction kits installed and complete uh, this little mini complex. When you choose drop station and select a complex construction kit, you have three input options. The first one being the first station to be connected, the second one being the second station to be connected, and the third one will be the location of the docking hub of your entire complex. Um, if you've ever set up a complex of stations and then had tubing running everywhere, especially out to your docking port, two or more tubes, um, the reason that happens is because of one of the first principles of setting up a complex is the order um, that you select stations in, specifically the first two, will affect uh, where that tubing runs for your docking port. So we can make this nice and clean and we can make it go pretty much exactly where we want. If you select two stations that are very close together, uh, they will be of course connected and then if you select a location near those two stations for the docking hub, the main tubing will run pretty much straight out um, and there will only be one main tube uh, to your docking hub. And then after that when you connect the remaining uh, foundries in this case or other stations you won't have extra tubing running out into space and out to your hub and looking like a big uh, mess of spaghetti so let me just uh, show you a couple of examples I'll show you a couple of I'll show you one right and then I'll show you one wrong so you can see exactly what causes it um, let's say I want 
Let me flip this a little bit so you can see. Here's how they're stacked. Let's say I want, uh, if we're looking at the top of my stack of stations here, I just want the docking hub to come out of the end here so that I can continue to stack on top of this and further behind it if I choose to expand this factory. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down until we pick one on the end and I can hit insert and see exactly which one. So let's pick the top one there as the first choice. Then I'll zoom in and do the same thing until I get to the bottom one on the end. Of course you can't select the top one again because it's already chosen. You see that defaults to the bottom. So let's select that. That was my second choice. Now the input is waiting for a location for the docking hub. And you can see that kind of moving in the background on my screen. But that's not so important with uh, satellite view. So let's turn that on. Now this functions just like any other station. I can press number 5 and it will snap to the nearest station, which in this case is the top. So let's scoot this out a little bit and zoom in so we can see. Now the second point about this is, this is what I was talking about, I call it the, the docking hub of my complex. You'll recognize these little things, this is where your ships normally dock at a station. The important thing to remember is the main tube comes out of the other end of this piece. So if I rotate this a little bit to kind of give you some perspective, the tubing comes out of here. So if I install this right now, the tubing will come out of here, wrap around this hub back through the docking port and then back to my station uh, the first two stations that I have connected which is exactly what we do not want so let's use the 7 and 9 keys to rotate this around until it looks pretty good there we go now the, the main tubing will come straight out of here and into these two now if you get this too close it has a tendency of putting some extra bends in it um, so I like to scoot it out just a little bit. And if you want to get really, really nitpicky, you can decide where this comes out of, if it matches up with the top one or the bottom one, or if you want to scoot this down a little bit and make it in the middle. Well, let's do that for now and experiment, because I'm going to try a couple of times here. So let me select that. Command accepted. Okay, do a quick uh, flyby. Now you see the two stations that uh, I picked first, they're connected. You see the tubing in between. And then of course the docking hub, which is what you select when you want to dock. Complex hub alpha. And the tubing is going out the back, straight into my station, and that's nice and clean. I can dock nice and easily. And if I undock, you see the running lights do not conflict with anything. So that is a very, very clean install. Um, so now I just go through and you can select the remainder. If you just select any other foundry and then the complex hub. It will continue to connect them. Uh, nice and clean and you'll still only have this one set of main tubing coming out of here instead of somewhere else. Now if I had connected this station with say this one first instead then the odds are very very likely that you would have a tube running out from here and here to your hub and you would have this kind of a mess. So this solves the problem and I can continue uh, dropping complex kits pretty much in any order that I want. Select the foundry first and then the uh, complex hub. I'm not even sure that matters, but. And you can see it stays nice and clean. Command accepted. So I hope that takes the mystery out of setting up a uh, complex construction kit with a complex of factories. Of course this could be, and it is, uh, 10 or it could be 100 as long as they're nice and uh, close and you follow the same rules for setting up your hub at the, I'm sorry, your complex hub at the end. Um, you'll have a very nice, clean, symmetrical, um, nice looking factory complex. 
And of course you can experiment with this when you place the hub you can really get in and take a look at the angles you can decide to put this in a different place. I could have connected these two first and then put the hub in the center if I wanted to. Or I could have connected them two and then had it on top facing up the other way. And uh, you can consider that when you look at the layout of the sector you're building your uh, complex in. And it might make more sense to have this facing a certain direction. Uh, but now that you know the secret, that's nice and easy to do. Just take your time. Uh, get some salvage insurance for the convenience of saving your game uh, right where I'm at so I don't have to keep docking and then if something goes wrong you can just load and try it again but once you do this a few times you see how easy it is uh, you'll probably never mess up building a complex again okay I loaded my game and I'm going to do this again except I'm going to mess up a couple of things intentionally so you can see the results um, starting with the order I'm going to pick two stations that are not close together starting with this side and then I'll pick one on the opposite side and then uh, well, let's just go ahead and really mix it up and let's not flip this around so that uh, the main tubing is coming out the wrong end and let's install it there Command accepted. Okay, you see now we have the two sets of tubing coming out of the station because they weren't close together to be connected in the first place. And also, since I didn't face the docking portion of the complex hub in the right direction, the tubing is coming out of the back side and then it has to wrap around the docking port to go back towards the station, like I said. Complex hub. And now you run into a little bit of issues with uh, docking. Um, some of the less than intelligent uh, hauler ships around could end up crashing into your station trying to dock and this is just a big mess so um, let me see if I can load one more and come up with a different example okay let's try to do one more correct except uh, from a different perspective uh, let's connect this bottom center with the top center Command accepted. And that's not bad. Now you have the uh, docking port coming out of the center of the complex. You have one tube. And I can continue to connect these and we'll get the same results. And this is nice and easy to get in and out of. Uh, no collisions there. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful.